especially for some attacks perpetrated by pro-MPP vigilante groups, the Delta Force, as well as the Invisible Force. The government has also enjoyed some high moments like the appreciation of the city, massive boost to agriculture through the Planting for Food and Job program. In this excerpt of a feature by Maxwell Agbagba, he catalogues the main events that have characterized so far the MPP's 100 days in office. <laughs> If you create the impression that the economy is in crisis, Ghana is going back, despite all the scientific basis, even from outside, Moody's comes and upgrades us and says there's more confidence in Ghana's economy. We've gone from negative to stable. And then somebody who calls himself an economist can stand and say there was no Moody's upgrade. I can't think far, I can't think far. You are going forward like Usain Bolt. So when I say NDC, you say no above us. NDC, no above us. NDC, no above us. And then after that, you do. Why did you come to early? I came to early because I know that today is good work. It has been dedicated for us to vote. As a good citizen, it should be my priority to vote. And I have to come and vote on it. I don't have to make decisions that only I do not say that the, the lie is long or the queue is so long, so uh, I should stay at home. Because I don't know that maybe in the evening you come and meet the same queue, so I don't so have to come and meet. And by the power vested in me as the chairperson of the Electoral Commission and the returning officer for the presidential election, it is my duty and my privilege to declare Nana Adodangwa Akufuado as a president-elect of the Republic of Ghana.